Hi, welcome back. In this video, we are going to see about HTTP header manager in JMeter. First, let us create a simple uh, JMeter test plan. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a, a thread group. Inside the thread group, I'm going to add a sampler HTTP request. And I'm going to enter the uh, server name, say example.com and HTTP uh, yes. And I'm going to add a listener view results tree so that we can see the uh, output. And I'm going to hit save and say uh, header manager demo. And to add a header manager to your request, you can right click on the request and go to add config element and click on HTTP header manager. In the header manager, you can add your header and its values by clicking on this add button. So if you keep clicking, it will add the multiple rows and here you can uh, fill your information. So the most frequently uh, used header uh, values uh, is one is the uh, user agent. Okay, uh, the header uh, name is uh, case insensitive. So it doesn't matter uh, uh, whether you use the uh, small case or uppercase. And another uh, name is a referrer. So in case uh, you are working on the uh, web publication, uh, you can always uh, see this uh, header uh, name uh, referrer. So now we are going to see a very simple demo. So what I'm going to do is instead of user agent, I'm going to change it as say uh, content type. And here uh, I'm going to enter uh, application slash JSON. Okay. So now what you can do is you can uh, fill this information, say a uh, post. And here we can uh, say the uh, name, some information, okay, JMeter, something like this. And if you uh, run this, if you click on the HTTP request and uh, click on request tab and in the uh, request headers, you can see the content type is application JSON. So by default, JMeter will send some information, say connection or host or user agent. So user agent is HTTP client, Apache HTTP client. So this is the user agent, but you can override it. So what you can do is you can add the uh, user agent And to get the list of user agent, you can uh, just Google it. So what I can do is uh, we can just quickly uh, do a, a search uh, user agent uh, example, just Google uh, search and you'll get the uh, list of user agent. Say so we can go for uh, this uh, Mozilla website. So here you can learn about user agent string. So we can, what we can do is we can just uh, copy and paste. See uh, this one, just copy and go to your uh, header manager and paste it here. So now if we execute, you can see it will overwrite the uh, user agent string. Okay. So you can have multiple uh, header managers. So that is also possible. So what we can do is we can just right click on this and duplicate. And here we can add uh, our own uh, headers, say tool name is uh, JMeter and version is uh, 5.3. And if you uh, run this in the header information, you can see the tool name, version, uh, user agent and content type. So like this, you can keep on adding the HTTP header manager. Also, you'll be able to save your header manager uh, using this uh, save button at the bottom. So if you click on save, uh, you can say uh, my header manager demo and click on save. And if you go to your location where it saved and right click and click on uh, open with code or uh, notepad, your favorite editor, you can see the header manager uh, details. 
So you can use uh, this file uh, to share it with your colleagues or you can uh, use this file to uh, load. Say I'm going to add another uh, header manager and I can click on this load button and then I can load the information here. Okay, so I'm going to delete this. You don't need this. Similarly, uh, you can also have the duplication uh, in your headers. Sometimes say uh, I have version 5.3 here and I can add the uh, version here again. And here I can add say 5.1. So what will happen is the first one will take uh, an effect. So if you go to HTTP request, you can see 5.1. So here we have 5.1 and uh, again, there's another header manager 5.3. So it will take the first one. So this is why the scoping will uh, uh, go to the first header manager. So likewise, you can keep on adding uh, your header manager. So this will be very useful when you are working on the APM tools. For example, I want to integrate uh, some of the request with Dynatrace. So you can add the uh, X hyphen Dynatrace header so that you can uniquely identify your request in the uh, APM tool. So there are a lot of use cases for the header manager. So it is one of the uh, important concepts you should aware when you're working in the web services or web applications. So I hope this uh, video is pretty useful. Uh, if you have a time, please go to my next tutorial. Otherwise, uh, thanks for watching. Have a good day. If you like my dad's videos, please subscribe to QA Insights channel.